Good morning, everybody. Good Monday morning. We are in uh, Toledo, Ohio. My name is Sean. I'm a driver trainer here with Rosedale Transport. I'm over in the passenger seat. This is Mr. Chris Brown. How you doing this morning, folks? Hey, it's uh, he's down to his last week of training. He's got a few more days left. He's going to graduate. This is fourth week. He's doing good, so uh, he'll be driving most of this week. I'll do a little bit of maybe a little bit of driving just so I don't get sore in his passenger seat, but. He'll be doing majority of the driving, and after he's done with me, he didn't get a whole lot of backing experience. He's got to do some backing, but when he's done with me, he'll get a couple days local training. He'll get a lot more backing in, but he'll still get a few more backs in. Like um, he'll, he'll back up here in a minute, and he'll back at the truck stop today, and then um, whenever we get to the yard tonight in the morning, he'll back. And then I think we're going to go to Maryland tomorrow. We got to take this back to Georgia. So what is this uh, taking us right here, right? Are we four and a half miles away? Whenever you get off the interstate, this is when you really want to be careful. I mean, I want to, you want to be careful all the time, but when you get off the interstate, that's when you can make mistakes with turns and lights and speed limits and all that good stuff. So just always pay an extra, you know, make sure your extra attention to your wide swings and all that good stuff. All right, looking good, looking good. You brought that back perfect. Oh, we got a speed limit of 35 through here. Turn right on South Burn Road. And poles are like they're leaning, don't they? <laughs> These are old houses, ain't they? Like riding around down old Atlanta area. Yeah. Old parts of the city. Definitely. I think I've been down through here before. All right, 11 foot on Northbound Holly. We don't want to go Northbound Holly, wherever that is. All right, this is Holly right here, okay. See that sign said 11 foot going Northbound, so going back that way would be 11 foot. We don't want to go that way. See that bridge down there? Yeah, we sure ain't making it to go under that. No, sir. 13.6. I think that's 11 foot. Mm -mm. So you always want to pay attention to all, all your signs. That house ain't got no window in there. Something up there, don't it? It's got sheets hanging down, but ain't got no glass in it. You see it? I don't think anybody's living there. What do you think? Cold if they were. You hope not, but you never know nowadays. They got a blanket up, but mm -hmm. that was a little rough through here. Some place in the land in Catholic Town. You ever been through there? Years ago. I know where it is a little bit. I know where the bluff is. Looks like we got plenty of room to make a turn here. Oh, save a lot. So I think you got the driving part down pat. Yeah. I think you got the, I mean, you got, yeah, you, know, you just need practice with the paperwork and stuff. Paperwork. I, it constantly. Yeah. I got it, but every time, if I don't do it every single day, it ain't staying with me. You know right, I mean? right, right. You should have it about the other way. I have it doing it. Well, if you ever have any questions, you can always call me too, but yeah. I think you're going to be just uh, fine. I'll probably be getting some phone calls for That's minute. my job. All right, so up here. You're gonna turn up here on somewhere on Byron Road. Byron, Byron, Byron or is it Byron? B Y R N E. It's just Byron. 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 In <laughs> Alabama, we call it Byron. Right the traffic light. <laughs> That's a homer my daughter had. Looks just like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
just like that. Different type of wheels, those got the bigger wheels. In three quarters of a mile, oh, turn right, right to that, the bridge. That. I started to go, right. then I seen them go. Well, I'm glad you signed where you seen it, not see it. Yeah. So, find a motor for it. Now I haven't looked. I gotta give them the VIN number and stuff when I get home. I gotta. Our wife's gotta go out and get the VIN number on it. Saying another half mile, we're gonna turn on Burn Road again. To the right. Yeah, I have. I, th I have. I think I've been here before. I'm almost positive. I've been this direction so a year or so ago. And it sounds just like it. It's like a. a it should be a, like a sharp right. And it goes back this way, then I've been there. I still can't picture the actual destination in my head, but I remember we go and we turn, and it's like a short road going back. That's what it looks like on the map. So, yeah. like it circles back around up under here, and it's back. Yeah, yeah, I have been here. I want to say it was, um, we picked up like some type of diet drinks, or maybe not diet drinks, but some type of Coca Cola products. It was. And it's going to a Kroger, right so I mean, Quaker no, it's Quaker Oaks. It's going to Quaker Oaks. Oaks. That's weird. But yeah, it's right up here on the right. It turns right here and it turns back around. Yeah, right here, I think. Yeah, yeah. This is this is it. This is where I turned last time. Yep. And it curves all the way hard back to the right. Yeah. I picked up. I don't want to say I picked up drinks here, but it's over a year ago. I got a pretty good memory when it comes to these places. Once you've been somewhere once or twice, you remember, but I, I haven't been here twice, but I've been here once just because of the sharp turn. And then it goes up, you make it right, and then the place down on the right. Side. God, it's been longer than a year it would be now. I, I, when I trained Mark Wendland, and he's been here two years. Oh, yeah. September would be two years. Oh, no, he hasn't been here quite. No. Yes, yeah, September would be two years. It ain't even quite two years yet. Sometime during that train, it's a definitely over a year ago since I've been here. All right, so we're gonna make it right here. Oh, Got to watch us coming around this bush. Around the bush. Oh. You go, just swing to the left. Go hard left. There you go. There you go, very good, very good. And I believe it's about where that truck is coming out, if I can remember correctly. Yeah. It might be before then. South Avenue. Maybe before then. In 300 feet, arrive at 37 30 That South looks Avenue. like it right here. Right. I could be wrong, that was Pepsi. So 3730, this 3750, yeah, this is it. Yeah, it's Pe I told you it was Pepsi products. Yeah, this is definitely it. This is exactly where I came from. All right, let's see, it's 3730. It said driver check in, but I checked in at the very bottom, but let's see. It says, yeah, yeah, driver, check in, driver, other end. Yeah, it's the other end of the building, so go on down. Check in, make sure. Yeah. What's that address say up there? Does it say 3730? Yep. 3730, that's it. Just, yeah, down here. Just park right here to the right, over to the right. And then we'll go down there and do a big turnaround. Let me run in here real quick. All right, now you should change your logs to on duty. If you want to while I'm in there, if you want to go ahead and get turned around, you can. I'll be right back. Let me check out my wallet. Just watch that pole. Got it. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Good. 
Had to make sure he was gonna make it, but he did good. He's been doing really good. He's ready. Good morning. Good morning. I've got several picket numbers. I got one that begins with the six. Yeah. Not it. Okay, I got I got two more. Where are we looking at to begin with? The four. And where is it going first? Atlanta, Forest Park, I guess. Let me look it up again. If I know the city, I can tell you. Yes, ma'am. All right, it is going to Lithia Springs, Georgia. That should be a seven six one number. Got it. Okay. And then there, I need the broker. Okay, got it too. All right, seven, six. C8 Robinson, I'll put it on there. They give me like seven different numbers. <laughs> Dorsey. You've been here before? Yes, once. Just once? Once, about a year and a half ago. All right, well. Dock 11, tandem's back, mm -hmm. green light. Mm -hmm. You're done. You need to pull down here, but don't face that way. Pull down here, pull it all the way to the edge of that grass line. Facing that way. Facing that way, because okay. you got to exit that way. Okay. We do a circle now. Okay. okay. So dock 11. Dock 11. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I've already turned back around facing the other way now, but that's okay. Yeah, right now. Okay, okay. But next time I know. Okay, yeah. thank you.
Peace out. I remember coming down a ramp. <laughs> Come up the other way. All right, let's get these doors open. We'll get these tandem slid. How's it going? Nah, it's a GoPro. <laughs> All right, so we're going to let him figure out how to set this up. As far as the back, he should go down and turn around. It's that way I'd be on his side, but we're gonna find out. See if, see if he remembers. Slide these tandems all the way back. I right, go for it. Pull the air rod right there so he can slide the tandems. They want them all the way to the rear. A little more. There we go. Go ahead and lock these back. We're gonna go to door 11. I'm not gonna tell you how to set up, nothing. It's all on you. Go do your thing. Now what he should do is he should go down he should turn around so he can get lined up right. He's doing it right. Cause you don't wanna have the blind side in there. He should wanna turn around so he can do it from this side now the tandems are all the way back which is going to make it a little harder back for him but let's just see let him think on his own when i'm training i let the drivers think on their own i don't let them hit anything but they've got to start thinking i can give them direction if they can't get it then i'll give them the direction but they've got to learn to start thinking on their own because they're going to be on their own soon if a trainer's out here yelling at them turn left turn right turn left turn right and tell them what to do they will get it right so i let them make their mistakes with me and i make sure they don't hit nothing but I let him make the mistakes. Now he might do a pull up straight up, straight back in. All right, looks like he's gonna do a, what's he doing, a blind side? Shouldn't do a blind side, he should turn around. Oh, well, you could do a blind side. There he goes, he's turning around, that's what he's supposed to do. He's doing that right. This is dock 11 right here. So this is the dock he's gonna come in. If I was him, I would probably come up past the dock I would go up right about that way and then I'd curve it on in. The only thing that's gonna be in his way, be of course of these these things right here, I don't want on the head or that pole, but and then he's good. So yeah, he should be fine. He could either he could go up like that or he could go up that way. There's a lot of different ways to go in. Very good. He's setting up just right, exactly what I've done. Very good. The setup is nice. Now let's let him get on in here. Like I said, it don't matter how long it takes. He's just gotta get used to practicing it and doing it right and don't hit anything. He does need to watch those rocks over there. Okay, good. He sees him. Good deal, good deal. He's seen him, that's good. That's the main thing is he's seen him. Okay, I'm at the correct time. Watch those rocks. Yeah, I know, I know. What I would probably do is I'd probably come in a little closer. That way you can do your swing better. So just pull up that way and then bring it in more of a 90. There you go. That way you got, cause you got all the pavement, might as well use all the real estate. There you go. Now start working it in from that way. Use all the real estate, because he's got rocks there, but he can use the rest of the real estate to get in. So that's what he's gonna do. But see, he noticed it, that's good. There you go. Good 
Curve some more. There you go. There you go. Cut it on in. There you go. Cut it on in. Now cut it back so you don't miss them rocks. Very good. It's perfect. Looking very good. He's going right on the dock now. You see that? It's beautiful. 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 you're gonna be fine you seen the rocks you know what I'm saying you just, you're doing good man so that's uh that includes this day's video he's gonna go ahead and get in the dock and then we'll go ahead and wait on them to get loaded that's just all part of the game hey if you got any value from this make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe let's truck off a shine baby let's get it